Hello everybody, welcome back to the Palmyra Livestock Market here at Palmyra, Nebraska. Tomorrow, Saturday, April 20th, is our consignment sale. We'll be selling hay, produce, poultry, personal property, and general merchandise. Also tomorrow, we're having our spring consignment machinery sale. Uh, we'll be selling the large machinery right after the hay at 12 o'clock. So here's Kelsey. She's going to show us what's in so far. We're going to take a quick look at everything. You can still consign items tomorrow morning from 8 to 12. Um, there is no loader tomorrow morning. So if you bring it down, you got to be able to unload it yourself. So we do not run the loader on the morning of the sale. So... Here's Kelsey, and she'll show you what we got. What do we got here, Kelsey? We got four piles of 10 grass hay with wire tied. Wire tied, pretty big bales. Four piles of 10, 40 bales of that nice wire tied grass hay. We'll jump over here. There'll be a lot more hay come in tomorrow morning. This is just what's here today. We got 13 alfalfa. Oh man, that's nice and green. Thirteen brome. Twelve brome. And another twelve brome. And fourteen alfalfa. Boy, that's nothing but leaves. That's nice green hay. Looks like there's a couple piles down here. Again, the auction will start at 12 o'clock tomorrow. The sale order will be, we'll start with the hay, the small squares, right at 12 o'clock noon. After the small squares, we'll sell the big big bales. You have two piles of 20 wire-tied grass. Two piles of 20 big bales of wire-tied grass hay. Cup piles over here. And then we'll go look at the big bales. After we're done selling the big bales, we will start on the uh, large machinery items. After we're done with the large machinery items, we'll start up on the awning with all the food and produce, plants, flowers, stuff like that. Then we'll sell the poultry, chickens, ducks, rabbits. After the poultry is done, we'll sell the personal property and general merchandise. What do we got here? 15 wire tied straw. 15 bales, wire tied straw. Grass. 20 bales of grass hay. Twenty grass. Twenty more bales of grass hay. And like I say, there'll be a lot more hay or a lot more small square bales come in tomorrow morning. They'll be hauling them in from 8 to 12, so we'll have more by sale time. Big round bales and big square bales. This will probably be all that we have at the sale because, like I said, we don't run the loader on the morning of the sale. Unless they come in on a dump trailer. Got some nice big squares here. Six alfalfa. Six big squares here. Looks like nice green alfalfa. Big net wrap bales. Six grass. Hey, four by fives. Those are pretty popular. Two alfalfa and grass mix. Two small half bales. Another small bale here. One grass. Six grass. And six alfalfa. Six alfalfa bales, net wrapped. Come some more alfalfa. Seven alfalfa. Seven bales in that row. Six alfalfa. Six in that row. And six more alfalfa. And six in there. Pretty good selection of alfalfa for tomorrow. We'll go over here and take a look at the uh, large machinery items. Uh, 
Again, we'll start on this directly following the hay auction. Depending on how much hay we get in, it could be 1220, 1230, 1240 when we start on this. So be here at noon and look it over. A couple stock trailers, small square baler, big round baler, creep feeder, pull type creep feeder over there, lots of panels, some lumber, hay racks, big bale mover. We got quite the assortment. We'll start down here on the end and work our way back up. Down here on the end, we've got a header trailer for your corner bean heads. We got a little stock trailer here. Got metal sheeting on the floor, cut gate. Over here is a New Holland 315 square baler. It's got a story on it here. I'll read that off to you here in just a second. They've also got a whole bunch of twine. 170 by 9600. We will sell that separate from the baler. So if you don't need a baler but you need twine, we got a whole bunch of brand new twine here for you. Okay, this baler, I did misspeak on the other video that we put up Wednesday. I misunderstood them. They've owned it for six years. It was completely refurbished when they bought it. For five years, they bailed 2,000 bales a year. So 10,000 bales total, they bailed. When they told me I understood it as 10,000 bales a year, I told you they bailed 50,000. They've bailed 10,000 bales with it. Uh, they sold the ground they did not use in 2023. Says that they've only broke three shear pins the whole time they've owned it. Great baler, field ready. Guys, that's a pretty nice little square baler. It's got the chute to go up onto the rack. All complete, ready to roll. That is a nice baler. The head doesn't have hardly any wear on it. I mean, talk about a nice baler. Here's a couple hay racks. Steel frame backs on them. Another hay rack, it's got a spare tire. Here's an old running gear. If you want to make another hay rack or do whatever you want with it. Turn it into whatever. Round bale dolly. Make moving your round bales easy. If you don't have a tractor, you can pull this behind a ATV or behind your car or your pickup or SUV. You can move your bales around at home. A couple wheel balancers here. Some aluminum truck boxes. A little Harrow drag for your four wheeler. Hedge post says there's nine of them in that sack. Catch gate. Three point bale carrier with a gooseneck ball on it for your tractor. Three bundles of the uh, composite decking. Looks like 12 inch wide on most of it. Maybe some 8s and 10s in this stack. A 
those will sell by the bundle you just buy it buy it by the bundle there it says there's 30 in a stack here two by tens I'm guessing got some six by six treated posts here 30 of them six piles of five continuous fence panels got the clips and connectors looks like there's a bunch of extras seven times on the corner supports three of the long six by six corner posts now here's a different story look at these nice hay racks there's four of these all together. This is the biggest one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen two by twelves, it looks like, so that'd make it an eighteen footer. They're spaced out, so it might even be a little longer than that. Got big flotation tires on there. Heavy duty running gear underneath there. That haul a heck of a load of hay. Got a back on it. Slow moving signs. All of them have slow moving signs, it looks like. And the tires look like they're in good shape. Oh, yeah. Three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen two by twelves, so fourteen, fifteen footers. Looks like they've all got fourteen boards on them. Good tires, good rims, slow moving signs, and everything. They're ready to go. There's four of them hay racks. There's a big old snow plow. 12 footer. Looks like it was made in 2004. I'm assuming that round thing right there is a sand spreader for the back of the truck, maybe. Plow for the front. Here's a Yale battery powered pallet truck. Solid rubber skid loader tires, never go flat. Couple sheep feeders here. John Deere snowblower. Supposed to get down to freezing tonight. Hopefully, we don't need that in the morning. Workbench, metal workbench frame. Nice set of heavy duty aluminum ramps here. Probably about eight or ten foot long. Says they're rated for 5,000 pounds. Heavy duty ramps. Got a pickup box trailer here. Some brute cans, rubber made brute cans. Jump over here to this line. Got a little brush hog mower. About a five footer. Maybe six foot. A 
Looks like it's missing the front half of the PTO shaft unless he's bringing it in in the morning. A new idea, 4665 round baler. Got the pickup wheels in the front. Looks like pretty nice belts. Them belts don't look very old. New idea, 4665 round baler. PTO shaft right there. Good looking old baler. A little dozer blade. Tractor hitch there. Bale elevator. He did take that apart so that he could haul it down here. He just bolt that back up, put your chain links back in, and you'll be putting bales away. Here's some nice panels here. Kelsey, you remember the counts in these? Ten in the front pile, ten in the middle pile. Seven in the back pile. Got some nice T-posts here, some eight footers. Looks like ten in a pile here. Then maybe some six footers and some five and a half footers maybe. Some steel barrels. Here's a nice pull type creep feeder. Got the uh, calf creep panel on one side there. Looks like it's missing on this side. Ooh, even comes with a little bit of creep feed to get you started. Got an assortment of panels here. Again, the auction will start at 12 o'clock noon. We'll sell the hay first. Then we're going to jump right over into this larger equipment and machinery type stuff. After we're done with this, these two big rows out here, we'll start up underneath the awning with the food and produce, flowers, plants, vegetables, stuff like that. Then we'll do the uh, poultry, chickens, ducks, rabbits, turkeys, etc. After we're done with that, we will finish up with the journal merchandise and the personal property. Some nice wood posts there, spiked ends, some more nice T-posts. Looks like 10 to a pile. Some round bale feeders down here. Ladder rack for a pickup. Couple poly tanks. Another rack, truck toolbox. Some more wire panels, various sizes. Some hog panels. Little wooden panels make great lambing pins. Water tank here. If you don't want to use it as a water tank, it'd make a good strawberry planter. Wooden racks to make a stock rack with. A little kennel, a little doghouse. Some wire twists. And another stock trailer. Good used stock trailer. Got a cut gate in there. Says it's a rawhide trailer.
This one also will be selling on a bill of sale, no title. Just a good old using sock trailer there. All right, we'll go up. There's a little bit of general merchandise and personal property in already. We'll go take a quick look at that. Kelsey, what time does the sale start tomorrow? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock noon, all right. Can they check stuff in tomorrow? Anytime from eight to 12. All right. Again, we do not run the loader on the morning of the sale. We will have the loader available tomorrow after the auction is over to help load some of the big items. Tomorrow after the sale, we will have the loader available to help load items. Looks like this front lot's pretty much filled up, but we've got a backup lot over here with lots of room in it. Oh, we've got some shelving, live trap, bolt bins. Oh, they were full. Guys, you need bolts and stuff. Come on down. Bolts of every size. Some more live traps. Whole stack of mineral feeders there. Tomato cages, another toolbox for your truck. Big old hay fork there in the center. Some car ramps, toolbox, ladder. We've got all kinds of stuff. Air compressor there, floor jack, big old dog kennel there, patio set, I do two rows here at once. You'll watch both sides of your screen. Got a nice park bench over here on the left. Table and folding table and folding chairs on the right. Patio set on the left. Fire pit on the right. Man, you can set up your whole yard. There's even a mower to mow your yard. Double deck rabbit cage. A little zipper. A little ramp and all. Flat iron grill. Fitness center. Some bricks for your yard. Another nice propane grill there. Fireplace insert. You name it, we got it. Even got a sandbox. Dog kennel, archery target. Little BB gun. Golf clubs. Some stools. Alright, there's a quick look at what's in already. 
What time does the sale start tomorrow, Kelsey? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Will you be here? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe? You got to shoot in the morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How early you got to get up for that? 6, 6.30. Oh, man. Where are you shooting tomorrow? Nebraska City. Nebraska City. Well, good luck to you. Shoot lots of targets. Alrighty guys, come on down and see us tomorrow, Saturday, April 20th, 12 o'clock noon. We'll start on the hay, then the large machinery, consignment items, stuff underneath the awning, the poultry, and then we'll finish up with all this general merchandise and personal property. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more tomorrow. Uh, follow our Facebook page. Emily will be posting pictures all morning tomorrow as more consignments arrive. Not everything makes it up onto the Facebook page, so even though it's not up there, doesn't mean we won't have it. But we do our best to post pictures up there, so follow us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube so you can watch the auction from home. If you want to bid, you got to be here in person. You got it must be present to bid. No online bidding. So come on down and see us tomorrow. 915 F Road, half mile east of Palmyra, ride on Highway 2. We'll see you then.